We begin tonight with the race for president just 22 days until the election. Early voting, of course, underway. Millions have already voted. Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump both in the must-win state of Pennsylvania. And this evening, the new ABC News poll that shows this is a very close race nationally. Harris 50, Trump 48 among likely voters. But it all, of course, comes down to the key battleground states this election. Kamala Harris in Erie, Pennsylvania at this hour, making her case on the economy, arguing her policies will help middle-class families, reaching out to black voters in particular, a key constituency both campaigns are looking to reach. Former President Trump, after spending the weekend doubling down with his anti-immigrant rhetoric and suggesting he would use the military against his foes, tonight turning to the economy as well. It comes as inflation and interest rates come down, and tonight another record high in the stock market. The Dow closing above 43,000 for the first time ever today. Mary Bruce leading us off at the state of this race. She's in Erie, Pennsylvania tonight. Tonight, 22 days until the election, and Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are both in the must-win state of Pennsylvania. Our new ABC News Ipsos poll tonight showing the race in a dead heat nationally. Harris 50, Trump 48 among likely voters. But this election will be decided in the key battleground states where the race is also essentially tied. Tonight, signs Harris is closing the gap on the economy as inflation and interest rates are coming down and the stock market hitting another all-time record high today. The Dow up 200 points, closing for the first time above 43,000. Trump tonight outside Philadelphia is turning to the economy. You've been eaten alive with inflation. And all I'm doing is getting you back to even. Harris tonight focused on the economy, too. In western Pennsylvania, making the case that her policies will help middle America and trying to reach out to black voters. Stopping at a black-owned business in Erie today. She's upping her outreach to black men in particular, a key constituency for Harris. There is a very big difference between Donald Trump and how I will be president of the United States. And I cannot impress upon people enough that this is somebody, Donald Trump, who intends to take us backward. And saying this about earning votes from black Americans. Black men are no different from anybody else. They expect that you have to earn their vote. Harris also trying to reach out to conservative voters who aren't happy with Trump, now agreeing to sit down with Fox News in Pennsylvania later this week, part of a blitz of interviews. It comes as she's ramping up the pressure on Trump, questioning his age and mental fitness, challenging him to another debate, but Trump repeatedly refusing. Harris releasing her detailed medical records this weekend and asking Trump, who would be the oldest president ever to take the oath of office, why he isn't doing the same. It makes you wonder, why does his staff want him to hide away? One must question. One must question, are they afraid that people will see that he is too weak and unstable? Trump's campaign instead pointing to a three-paragraph letter his personal doctor released nearly a year ago. And tonight saying it's Harris who should pass a test on cognitive stamina. On the campaign trail, Trump this weekend stepping up his anti-immigrant rhetoric and suggesting he might use the military against, quote, radical left lunatics on Election Day. I think the bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. And I think they're the and, and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard or if really necessary, by the military, uh, they, because they can't let that happen. Harris tonight responding. He's talking about that he considers anyone who doesn't support him or who will not bend to his will an enemy of our country. It's a serious issue. He's saying, he is saying, that he would use the military to go after them. This is among the reasons I believe so strongly that a second Trump term would be a huge risk for America and dangerous. Now, this is both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris's 10th visit to Pennsylvania since Harris entered the race, showing just how important this state is to both of them. They are now separated here by less than a point, and both campaigns know their best chance to win the White House is to win this state, David.